Hi Capricorns, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your August reading. So this will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising and those of you that are cross watchers connected to Capricorn. Sorry. So I wanted to thank you guys for liking the page, for, for liking the videos, subscribing to the page, commenting, participating in polls, sharing the videos. I appreciate you and thank you so much. All right. So let's get into it, Capricorns. What's going on for you guys in August, all right? So I'm actually going to split the deck and see what two energies you have that may reflect the overall energy for um, August for you, like the theme of your month, all right? So I'm going to get a good shuffle, all right? And then I'm going to split the deck and see where this goes, all right? So what do we have for Capricorns? All right, so you have Seven of Pentacles, which is your energy, and we have the King of Swords. Interesting. Um, this, which is also your energy as well, um, also can be Aquarius. So, um, as usual, <laughs> you guys are, uh, you guys are working on something big. This feels like a big project in August. It feels like some self improvement energy. It also feels like you're working on something that is going to, I mean, I just feel like you are tuned out to anything. Um, you know, nothing, you're not, it, whatever is not serious, you're not entertaining it. Okay. That can go for relationships. That can go for work. I saw the Queen of Swords. So this is just more confirming, um, where you guys are mentally. Okay. You're just in a no, um, BS type of energy, no BS type of mood. I don't feel like you guys are wasting your time on things. And I also feel like you're doing some really important self growth with that seven of pentacles. You're also building your finances. So whatever needs to be tuned out or whatever you have to sort of release, it feels like you're able to do that without a lot of guilt, right? That king of swords doesn't care what they have to let go of in order to accomplish their goals. So that, th that could be the mind state that you guys are in for August but let's see let's see what's going on for capricorns all right three of wands all right what else do we have for capricorns the month of august what else is coming through we have the sun all right leo energy all right what else do we have for capricorns the month of august two of cups <laughs> interesting all right um five of swords all right what do we have for Capricorns the month of August? Ten of Cups. All right. So Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Something tells me you guys have been connecting to somebody um, strategically, maybe on a just a physical level, but somehow you get into a relationship with this person in August. This won't be for all Capricorns, but there's a strong energy coming through here that there's somebody in your life that you're very attracted to, um, but you haven't given them that sort of... Um, the, long-term commitment and or they haven't given that to you it feels though like that's something that you won't have to worry about or they won't have to worry about because it feels like you guys are headed straight for union all right you're headed straight for um a relationship and for those of you where it's not about like a romantic relationship or getting more serious um it does feel like there's a successful partnership that is forming in your life that could be business right it could be happening during leo season it could be a leo you're connecting to for a partnership but of course, with the two of cups here, the ten of cups is here. There's a strong energy that a relationship goes to the next level. <laughs> I'm even picking up that there's a conversation about moving in together that may not go well, but it doesn't change the fact that you still end up with this person. So you guys may have been giving somebody temporary energy just because you weren't ready to invest and just because you weren't ready to be in a relationship yet, or someone could have been doing that to you, right? Um, so I do feel like there's a, a blending of, of ideas and direction in the month of August that feels like it leads you to a better relationship with somebody. So let's see why this three of wands is here. Um, let's see. Thank you. The seven of wands. 
Yeah. So, um, look, I feel like there's something you have been wanting to do. I feel like there's something you have been wanting to accomplish and it felt like, you know, things were distracting you or no, it felt like you, you didn't want distractions. And so you may have been really aggressive to certain people in your life, right? This can be family. This can be friends. No, I can't go out. No, I can't like really standing up for what it is that you want, right? Creating these boundaries for yourself so that people don't interfere with what you feel is going to be a successful journey in your life, right? And so I do feel like there's been some energy of you possibly pushing people away in your life. But again, in the month of August, I feel like there's kind of a, you know, it was no hard feelings. I really had something I was working on. I had to focus and now we can give you that attention sort of energy, right? So you could have done that to someone, Capricorn, or someone could be doing that to you. What is this? seven of wands about it's the nine of pentacles exactly a lot of you really fought hard or are still you know working very hard to establish yourself independently i want my own um you know penthouse suite i want a house you know very soon i i want a new car i want a new career i want a career where i can travel so whatever it is you had to do right to get to these places these goals that you had you made some sacrifices right um but I do feel like that three of wands, you know, you're in a position of waiting now. So, you know, it's almost like a position of rest, right? Where you kind of have done all the work and you just need to see what's coming in. And so I feel like what's coming in is definitely somebody respecting your boundaries because they don't have a choice. And also somebody respecting the fact that as much as you may want to be with them or as much as they want to be with you, there's still some sense of um, freedom and, and independence this person wants to have. This is somebody who goes, I would love to marry you one day, but I want my own account, right? I don't want to have a joint account, right? This is somebody who goes, yes, we can move in together, but um, I may not always sleep in the same room as you, like something like that. There's some relationship that has some boundaries being created right now or will be in the month of August. And so I feel like this is important for you guys, right? To establish a relation, to have a relationship where you can establish yourself as an individual and also, you know, show your romantic loving side to a partner, right? Um, and that's a fine line that Capricorns walk, but some are able to make it happen. So some of you may be connected to a Leo in the month of August. Again, it's Leo season. So this could just be reflecting the, the way that you feel about yourself, the confidence, right? You're giving off um, the joy, the, the experiences you're having in August. It really does feel like there's a, a, a mood lightener coming in for you serious Capricorns that have been like work, work, work for the past couple of months. So there's some joy. And some fun times ahead. Why is the sun here? You guys have been working very hard. Um, yeah, the world. And so some of you may travel very soon. Um, in the month of August, you may actually plan to travel at the end of the year or the beginning of the year. The world is sometimes an ending or a beginning. So even if you don't make that happen in August, I want to go to, you know, somewhere the for the new year. It feels like that's something that could come up between you and a lover. Because somebody you're talking to, <laughs> you're planning something with, right? As individual and free-spirited as you can be, there's somebody here that you feel like you're communicating and connecting with, where it feels like they're going to be involved in whatever it is you're planning. So the sun with the world tells me that you've accomplished a lot. And maybe now it's time to enjoy some of these accomplishments, all right? So I'm picking up business has gotten off the ground, right? You're not really in the beginning stages of getting the, the logistics moving. It's, it's, it's been going smoothly, right? Or even if it hasn't been all smooth, it's, it's functioning. Okay. It's fine. You can take your hands off of it. Right. Um, for those of you that started a new job, maybe at the beginning of the year, or maybe not too long ago, um, you're, you're settled in this job now, right? You're, you, you've accomplished that. Now it's time to move on to whatever your next accomplishment can be. The six of swords. Exactly. It is time to rest. It is time to relax and enjoy what you have accomplished. A lot of you will utilize this time in August, the hangman. It's vacation time. <laughs> for some Capricorns here. So that could be why I have this uh this relaxing energy. Also, somebody's going on vacation alone, all right? But you plan something with somebody that you care about towards the end of the year or the beginning of a new year. 
So the hangman is confirmation that a lot of you are sort of surrendering, um, being so hands on with everything. You feel like everything's fine, right? I know your project, your work, your business is your baby, but it feels like now is the time to really sit back. Um, look at what you've accomplished, be proud of yourself and allow yourself to enjoy it. Okay. Um, so let's see why this two of cups is here. All right. So some of you were already in a relationship and you had to, or you just decided to focus more on your career and your finances here. You had a goal that you had to meet. So your relationship may have suffered. Yeah, five of pentacles and nine of swords. What's more suffering than that, right? I mean, there are some more suffering cards, but still, five, uh, you know, five of pentacles and nine of swords. I feel like your relationship with somebody that you do care about has suffered, right? Somebody that you are connected to, Capricorn, has been sacrificing time with you um, for their career moves, okay? It's very important to this person that they, you know, reach certain goals and it feels like you just haven't been their priority. And so I do feel like there's energies of getting to talk about that in the month of August with somebody. Um, a lot of you could fear that this relationship is on the brink of ending. And I feel like that's where this five of swords comes in. Before I get to that though, I want to clarify this nine of swords, right? A lot of you have been in the dark about a relationship because you've been waiting for somebody to prioritize you or somebody's been waiting for yeah you to prioritize them this is capricorn also taurus virgo but the queen of pentacles showing up here somebody has been worrying about their relationship with you is it gonna work right um can we fix this is capricorn gonna spend more time with me right i really do feel like it's you that has been lacking in time for someone but it could definitely be some of you connecting to someone who has been, you know, making excuses, not putting in enough energy, not putting in enough effort. And so I do feel like someone has worried, is my success making me compromise my love life? All right. That's a big question that is coming in. Is my desire to be successful more important than my desire to be in a romance? And that's a question that some Capricorns will be asking themselves. And that is a question that some people connecting to Capricorns will be asking because the page of cups is, I want a family. I, I want to do things. I want a new way of doing things, right? I'm, I'm kind of programmed to succeed. I'm programmed to do things in this really almost robotic strategic way. However, what if I tapped into my feelings a little bit more and prioritize that, right? What if I tapped into my emotions and allow myself to be more expressive with somebody that I care about? So there's a relationship in your life that has suffered um, because of someone's ambition. And I do feel like there will be an opportunity to confront this. The Five of Swords feels like it gets a little intense, a little heated between you and a partner. Yep, the moon. You may not talk to each other. All right. For a while, you may, you know, give each other the silent treatment. Let's see why this uh, moon is here. Uh, Pisces, Cancer showing up. Also, Gemini is here. It's the Two of Cups. Yeah. So a lot of you are strongly connected to somebody. This person may not be going anywhere. You may not be going anywhere. But this doesn't mean that there's not some friction in the connection. Right. And I feel like it's coming from that workaholic energy that one of you has. Right. Because the other person whoever you are in the situation, one of you has that extreme need to work, make money. And the other person feels like they've been waiting patiently. Okay. And they've been confused, right? If this person really loves me or really wants me, why are they not planning anything with me? Why are they not spending time with me? So there's a lot of questions going around in the month of August regarding surrounding your relationship, because I feel like you and someone mean a lot to each other, but it just hasn't felt that way for all of you, that you mean a lot to this person or that this person means a lot to you. So the Two of Cups is confirmation that this is a really intense relationship here with the moon, right? But it's a relationship where you guys may keep all of your worries and concerns in because you don't want to come off as weak. You don't want to come off as nagging. But I do feel like there are some things that need to be discussed because the more you keep things in, the more resentful you may become. So in August, again, I feel like those things get confronted. I feel 
feel like there's a romantic relationship that has been suffering. But again, Ten of Cups is a nice energy to have after all of that. It feels like you make up. It feels like you spend time together. It feels like you make plans together. What is this Ten of Cups here? You know, I really do feel strongly that there's a Capricorn here. Um, I got that strength, the Leo underneath the bottom of the deck, who has possibly been resisting a relationship um, and keeping something physical or temporary or semi-temporary. <laughs> like, it's temporary, but it's not going to be for long. It's going to be permanent because I'm going to, you know, make an offer. But I do feel like there's something coming through where there's a very passionate relationship here that you've only really been able to give your physical self because you haven't trusted it enough to give your emotional self. And so it feels like that is confronted in the month of August. Let's see why this Ten of Cups is here for you guys, Capricorn. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Your home life and family life become very, very, very important to you. King of Wands, you could definitely have a Leo here. I got the Knight of Wands here again at the bottom of the deck. Um, your desire for this person is strong. Their desire for you is strong. So somebody steps up <laughs> again. It feels like it's going to be the person who has been spending the most time away. The person who has not really, uh, you know, sort of gone. I'm going to prioritize this relationship over money and success right now. Um, it feels like that's the person that steps up. That's the person that starts listening to their heart, that starts following their true desires. You guys are very passionate with this person page of swords and i feel like this is because this page of swords something is said or something some information is revealed right that sort of triggers um a truthful communication about what's been going on, right? No more glossing over the issue, sweeping it under the rug. Tell me the truth about why you can't spend time with me. Tell me the truth about why money is more important to you than a relationship. Let's see why the page of swords is here. Um, yeah, it's the six of pentacles and that causes someone to go, I've been selfish. And now I'm going to be more generous. And now I'm going to be more emotionally trusting and expressive. Some of you are dealing with somebody who had trust issues. You guys have trust issues. Queen of Cups here. But this is a month of embracing your sensitivity and your feelings and your emotions and allowing whatever happens in the heart space to flourish. All right. And to start prioritizing that over the money, the career, the things like that. So let's see what other messages we have for you, Capricorn. All right, so let's see. Be spontaneous, exactly. That fire energy, Leo season. I really do feel like it's gonna have an impact on you guys where you start going, okay, I don't have to be so controlled all the time. I don't have to be so disciplined all the time. It's okay to allow myself to experience fun, joy, pleasure, happiness without questioning it, right? So that Knight of Wands is be spontaneous and here we have it. So I feel like you guys are going to be taking some, um, some, some of the energy coming from Leo season and pouring it into yourself, right? Friendship. I think Leo had this in the same position. So some of you could absolutely have a Leo in your life, a fire sign or Leo season will be the time where something really comes together, right? There's a partnership here for a Capricorn for sure. And it feels like a successful partnership. It just feels like this partnership has struggled. Okay. So be spontaneous feels like um, a little bit of an anecdote for this connection. Maybe, you know, it's been too much. Um, planning. I'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you in three days. I'll see, uh, hey, I'm coming to get you for lunch. Get ready. You know, something like that needs to happen in this relationship. It feels like a very mature adult relationship where boundaries have seemingly been respected. But why so many boundaries now? Okay. That's because the lack of trust is still there. And so I feel like that is released in, in August and breaking free. Literally, that is being released in August. You break free from these strict rules that you may have had on yourself and that King of Swords energy. I can't allow myself to have fun. I can't allow myself to get into a relationship or somebody's doing that. And so I feel like freedom is a big message coming through. Liberation, right? Freeing yourself from career. A little bit freeing yourself from money a little bit right those things are very important to you right and necessary 
for most of you. But the reality is you're sacrificing something that's also important to you. Or somebody has been sacrificing this relationship for the sake of their finances, their business. And I feel like that's no longer going to do in August. Like something is going to shed the light on this connection and bring you closer together. All right. So that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.